Hello again, this is Andrew and now I will teach you logic gates or logic circuit. First, we need to define what's a logic gate. Logic gate is a building block of digital logic circuit. A physical electronic device that implements Boolean function. It performs logic function on one or more binary input to produce a single bit binary output. We have basic logic gates, AND or AND gate, OR 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 gate, XOR or exclusive OR, NOT or NOT gate or negated or inverter, NOND or negated AND gate, NOR or the negated OR gate. First, we need to discuss what is an end gate. End gate, all input must be true or turn on to turn on the output. Equation, A times B equals X. For the truth table, we have A, B, and X. As you can see here, we have A, which is equivalent to zero or off, B, 0 or OFF, and we have an output OFF, 0. As is stated here, all input must be turned on so that the output will turn on. That's why here in the truth table, both A and B must be turned on to make X turn on. We have 0 here, we have 1. And we have an output of 0, we have 1, we have 0, we have an output of 0. And lastly, we have 1, 1, and the output is 1. And this is the equivalent logical symbol. And this is the equivalent electrical circuit of an end gate. Next, we have OR gate. What is an OR gate? OR gate, at least one input must be true or turn on to turn on the output. Equation, A plus B equals X. Truth table. We have the truth table here. As is stated here, at least one input must be true to turn on the output. We have 0 here, or turn off, and 0, it means that x will be 0. We have 0 and 1, the output will be 1, and we have 1 and 0, we have output of 1, and we have 1, 1, and output of 1. This is the equivalent logical symbol for OR gate. And this is the equivalent logical circuit for OR gate. Next, we have XOR or exclusive OR. What is an XOR? Only one input must be true or turn on to turn on the output. Equation, A plus B equals X. But as you can see here, the positive sign must be inside the circle. Truth table. We have A, which is equivalent to 0, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0. As is stated here, one input must be true to turn on. And in XOR gate, if both input is true, the output will be 0. The logical symbol for XOR gate is this one. And for equivalent electrical circuit, it is this one. 
Next, we have NOT gate. NOT gate, the output inverts the input of the logic circuit. Equation, A bar equals X or some of the book use this type of symbol. But in our next lesson, we're going to use A bar instead of this symbol. Truth table, we have this one. As you can see, you just need to invert or take the opposite of your input. This is the logic symbol for NOT gate. And this is the equivalent electrical circuit. Next, we have the NAND gate. NAND gate invert the output of an end logic key. For the equation, we have A times B and you need to put a bar on the whole equation. We have AB bar equals X. Truth table. For an end gate, it states that both input must be true to make the output turn on. But here, you just need to make an inversion of the output. This is the logic symbol for NAND gate. And this is the equivalent electrical circuit. Next, we have NOR gate. NOR gate invert the output of an OR logic gate. For the equation, we have A plus B bar equals X. Truth table. As you can see here, it is the inverted truth table of an OR gate. This is the logical symbol for NOR gate and this is the equivalent electrical circuit. Now let's have an activity. Let's try to convert logic expression to logic circuit. For example, X equals A, B plus C. First is we have x equals a b plus c as you can see here there's a positive sign here it means it is an or gate and we need a b for our first input and we need c to our second input and when a b enters the or gate and C enters the OR gate, you will have this output. But to generate AB, you need an end gate. Okay, that's the equivalent logic circuit. Next, let's try to convert this equation. We have A plus B times C bar. First thing, we have x equals a plus b times c bar. We need to have a plus b as one of our input and we need c bar. But here, to generate a plus b, you need an OR gate. And now, to generate c bar, you need an inverted gate. Okay, next we have x equals a plus b bar times c plus d bar. And as you can see, the whole equation is under a big bar here. It means the whole equation must be inverted. That's why we have an inverter here. Then, we need an end gate to come up with this equation. And these are our input. 
A plus B bar and C plus D bar. And to generate this input, we need to have or gate. We need to have A here and B bar. But to generate B bar, we need to have an inverted gate here. And here, to generate C plus D bar, we need an OR gate. And we need C as our input and D bar. And to generate D bar, we need an inverted gate. And that's our equivalent logic circuit. And this one. First thing that we need to do is to put an OR gate here. Then, to generate this equation, you need to have this three input. After that, to generate A plus B plus C, you need to have an OR gate here. To generate AB, you need an N gate. To generate C plus D, you need an OR gate. Okay, here we have A and B as our input here on the OR gate here. Then we have C here. Then, as you can see, the equation is almost finished. What is missing is D bar. And to generate a D bar, you need to put an inverter here. And that's how to convert a logical expression into a logic circuit. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please like my Facebook page. Thank you again.